Coming up, the hit movie Easter Sunday, which he exec produced and starred in, Joe Coy is heading back to his first love, comedy, with his sixth special live from the Los Angeles Forum. Take a look. I got all the tools to keep an eye on my son. I wish if my mom had it, oh my God. <laughs> like if, I, if, if I didn't come home and my mom told me to come home, she'd go crazy. Be home at 10. Please, Joseph, come home at 10. 11.30. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Where is he? Someone kidnapped Joseph again. <laughs> Someone kidnapped Joseph again, which means I was kidnapped before. <laughs> And Joe joins us now. Welcome. Good to have you here. I'm happy to be here. I am happy that you are here, Joe. And I'm taking this cup. You know, it's not the first time. I'm taking this left cup. With the cup. What? Last one was uh, Pendulette. Really? Yeah. Um, listen, this is your sixth special. Oh, yes. How have you evolved as a comedian since the first one? I know that you're probably not paying for these ones like you did the first one. Oh, wow. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. This, this last one was incredible. Um, I, I finally put everything out there, yeah. you know what I mean? Like what it took to make a special and, and try to speak to this generation, like my son, and, and let them know that, you know, when people say no, you know, you gotta show people how to, you know, that they should have said yes, you yeah. know? And, and, and that's what I did, I bet on myself, and we ended up with this fourth special that I shot at the Forum, man. I'm the first comic to sell four shows out at the Forum oh in LA, God. so that was a special moment, that was a special awesome. day. And, it, and it's nominated for a People's Choice Award. I know, and people can still vote, Yes, right? today's the, the last day. Oh, today's the last day? I think day? today's the last day, right? Whatever, just yeah, vote, just exactly. vote. Just vote, just vote. But, but listen, we saw your mom in the show, you talk, you talk about your mom as a mom. Yeah. I hope that my kids never go into comedy. Um, Why? Because you talk about her in such a personal way. Like, does she like being talked about on these specials? I, I don't think she has a choice. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but it's uh, you know it's it's I think that's the best thing when you can take your 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 your, your childhood traumas and and, <laughs> yeah. and and make it funny and yeah. relatable and 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 when you say that you, you know, I get a lot of DMs saying hey I went through the same thing or yeah. my mom used Vicks on me too when I was six so <laughs> yeah, that's what I love the most yeah me too but let's so. So we mentioned that you might be you're up for a People's Choice Award. Yes. You may even get a Grammy nomination for the comedy um, album. Come on! So we can vote for that too, guys. Yes. But also there was Joe Coy Day in Los Angeles. I mean, like, were these things ever on your bucket list? Were they in your mind as like things that you wanted to accomplish, or are you still kind of pinching yourself? I'm pinching myself. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, I always wanted, uh, like, Madison Square Garden. I always wanted that. You know, form. Those were big dreams. Yeah. But, but like all this other stuff is just a bonus the movie the this nomination and yeah, uh, yeah this the, this is all bonus yeah so you're here for the New York Comedy Festival you're yes. performing at Madison Square Garden which tickets are still available yeah. just so everybody knows it's killing though but how do you it's prepare? a packed house yeah, I'm sure it is yeah. and, and it's like an overwhelming space so how do you even prepare yourself mentally for such an iconic venue like that um, this one I'm, I'm pinching myself and I know we use that twice sorry but that's okay I mean this one is that that this is the Mecca this yeah. is what every every entertainer dreams of is playing Madison Square Garden yeah. in New York City and this is a dream I, I, I told myself I would never go inside Madison Square Garden not even for a game to see a show and the only way I'm gonna go in is if it's my show yeah. or if I'm part of a show and I stay true to my word and now that's it's awesome. I get to walk in and it's my show I mean that's pretty fantastic I flew everybody out here that's awesome. I flew my, my nieces, my nephews, uh, my sons here. You know, me and my the mommy aren't together. We're, you know, we're you divorced. Guys co oh, we're co-parents. Oh, we're best well, friends. Right? We're best awesome. friends. I flew her out. So uh, this is a moment I want to share with everybody. Yeah. And, yeah. and how do you like New York audiences? Because every time a comedian comes on, or just a performer in general, they talk about how New York audiences, I mean, are the best. No, you are, though. Yeah. I mean, it's not like we're exaggerating. You know what I mean? We're not, like, like when people say, when they describe New York, they're, that that is an honest description. Yeah. New York has nothing to do with the United States. It is a separate thing. Agreed. It, agreed. Yes. It, 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 it has its own heartbeat, its own life, and, and the people here are just real. You're not going to get this anywhere in the world. Yeah. That's why the world comes to New York. By the way, so when you were 10 years old, I hear, that's when you said you knew you wanted to be a stand-up comedian. Yep. Yeah. So what was like the defining moment? When, when did you decide that this was going to be the rest of your life? 
Not when I was 10 years old. What, what was the thing that Oh, happened? it was, uh, well, everyone always told me I was a comedian. Uh, I heard Richard Pryor on a tape. That's when I found out what a comedian was. Yeah. And then when I saw Eddie Murphy Delirious, that's when I was like, I need to be that on that stage. That was so good. And I got to perform on that stage, Constitutional Hall in D.C., and that was a childhood dream come true, to be able to walk through the door that Eddie walked through. Uh, was was just that moment. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God, I bet. Well, you know, people can also see your film Easter Sunday, Oof. which you exec produced and you starred in. Yeah. Uh, what, what's next for you in acting and producing? Are you? Can you, are you, can you shout the next out? Thing? Can you shout out Steven Spielberg too? He, he yes. He let's the shout thing. out Steven Spielberg. Any opportunity to shout out Steven Spielberg, right? I'll do it. <laughs> I, I shot my second special coming in hot, and uh, they called me in for a, a, a meeting, and it was Steven Spielberg company, and they were like, "We want to make a movie," and I pitched them Easter Sunday. They bought it in the room we shot it and now it's on blu-ray you guys i'm on the show he only made two movies he made jurassic world and and uh easter, easter sunday. sunday well now and the next one should be called pinching myself let's go uh, you can catch joe coy live from the los angeles Foreman, streaming globally on netflix now and for details on joe's tour visit his website thank you so much for stopping by why do i love you i don't know but my day is complete let's now come on all right